40 on parole, but keep a post, still a black for pussy. Dead niggas in my wood, ain't no platinum cookie. Do they hit no shit, bro? Just pass that, yeah. Tell them niggas off the net, come send a shot. They just me and Rio screaming, yop all down your block. Ain't got time. This is a video about the most dangerous state in America, Missouri. Mainly Kansas City and St. Louis. It's a struggle to survive living in Missouri. Blick or get blicked is the lifestyle when you live in KC or STL. In Missouri, people care more about getting bodies than they care about getting rich. Kansas City and St. Louis is Chicago times 100. Most people in Missouri get blicked or crashed out before the age of 25. KC and STL is the Michael Jordan and LeBron James of murder. Chicago gets glorified the most but when it comes to per capita homicides, Chicago pales in comparison to the Show Me State. Let's examine the latest crime statistics. Here is a breakdown of the latest scary numbers that are plaguing two of Missouri's premier cities. According to a new report from WalletHub, Kansas City and St. Louis are number one and number three cities in the U.S. with the highest increase in homicide rates. Kansas City comes in first, followed by Detroit, and then by St. Louis in third. In order to determine which cities have the biggest homicide problems, Wallet Hub compared 50 of the largest U.S. cities based on per capita homicides in quarter 3, 2022, as well as per capita homicides in quarter 3, 2022, versus quarter 3, 2021, and quarter 3, 2020. Wallet Hub's data says St. Louis is first and Kansas City is second in the U.S. for homicide rates per capita in the U.S followed by Detroit, Baltimore, and New Orleans. A lot of people talk about murder rates in Chicago, and yes, the big city in Atlanta, Lincoln does show up on the list. Chicago is 10th in the US for homicides per capita, but Chicago has this going for it. According to the data, homicide rates are worse in Chicago in 2020 and 2021 than they are in 2022. So the numbers are going in the right direction compared to St. Louis and Kansas City. I will say this, it is disheartening to see these great American cities plagued by homicide rates. However, I would never let these numbers stop me from going to see a football or baseball game, spending a long weekend at Power and Light, eating at my favorite restaurants, or shopping and walking down the plaza. Hopefully these numbers don't scare you away from these great cities. Missouri is a great place to vacation or raise a family. Okay, these cities are very dangerous. You don't play around in these type of places. These are serious people in these places. They call Kansas City, Killer City. That should let you know about the culture. That's the culture, Killer City. So they're not playing around out there. They're serious. They got the blicks. They got the sticks. All right? And they got the cinnamon buns. Okay? Sacramento, California, and Scottsdale, Arizona are looking very safe. Those are great places to start a family. Now, back to the murder capital, Missouri. People in KC and STL will blick you for looking at them wrong. That's all it takes. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to do anything. All you gotta do is walk around in the hood and stare at people in their eyes. Somebody will say, hey, what you looking at? Somebody gonna say that to you. What you looking at? Who you mugging? Who you looking at? What's up with it? You the op. Just for looking. That's all it takes is a look. All right. In Missouri, Kansas City, and St. Louis, you do not walk around after 11 p.m. You don't do that. Really, you shouldn't be walking around after 10 p.m., especially on the weekends. Unless you're walking a dog, you really don't need to be walking through Missouri, especially in Kansas City and St. Louis. Because when people see you walking, especially when they see you walking after 10 p.m., 
They feel like it's open season and do whatever to you. People want bodies just to say they got bodies and they will roll up and blick you, just to blick you. Like, yo, we gonna go out tonight. We gonna go blick tonight. It's people out here like that. Can't find no ops, we just gonna blick. Ops in the house on social media. Somebody getting blicked tonight. So that's what they doing. Do not be walking out here, walking around. Cause people feel like if you're walking, you're worthless and I can do anything to this person and get away with it. People will roll up and blick you just because you're walking. Especially after midnight or late at night after 10 p.m. All right, here's another one. Bus stops. Never stand on a bus stop in Missouri. In St. Louis and Kansas City, do not stand at the bus stops. All right? Because the same rules apply. This person is worthless. They're on a bus stop. I can roll up and do whatever to this person, and I don't care, and nobody else cares. Let's roll up and blick them. Go back to the house. Get on social media. They ain't nobody. They out there on the bus. They ain't got no money. Let's blick them. Just to say, we got some bodies. We got bodies. All right? And not only will you get blicked, people will just run over the bus stop just because they angry at the day. People don't care about people that stand on bus stops in Missouri. So be careful if you're standing at the bus stop. All right, Kansas City clubs, they only stay open for months. If it's an active club, it's gonna get closed down. Especially if it's a club that plays rap music, it's gonna get closed down. Because when people go out into the parking lot, they think they Wesley Snipes, on an action movie. As soon as you get out of the club, you see people flying around in the air, twirling around like they're on the Matrix. Two Dracos, one in each hand. Their homeboy got two FNs, one in each hand, double five sixes, everything right out in the parking lot. The clubs of Kansas City. People walk around in the clubs with their blicks out now. They in the club with AR pistols tucked and they're not trying to hide them. If you're not a gangster or if you're not that type of person, stay out of Kansas City clubs. St. Louis clubs, same thing. Out in the parking lot, they blicking. At St. Louis clubs, they will blick you in the parking lot and come back to the same club the next week and sing along with the rap lyrics. Yeah, I blicked him. I blicked him. And y'all know I'm blicking. Y'all know I'm blicking because y'all seen me last week blick somebody outside. So y'all know I get down. Y'all know I get down. Ain't nobody seen nothing. At the party, ain't nobody gonna come take their day off of work to come down to court to testify about nobody. Last time I was at the club in St. Louis, People were walking around in the club with their blicks out. With their blicks around their neck, with their blicks poking out like it was nothing, like they cell phones. If somebody don't get their way or you not moving them drinks fast enough, they gonna pull their blick out. Hurry up. We be standing here, hurry up. And if you don't hurry up, they gonna get to blicking. If you don't do what they say in St. Louis when you in the club and they got their blicks out, they going to get the blicking. Because I've been in there, and that's what they do. They get the blicking. Oh, we came to perform. Oh, we ain't even doing performances tonight. They pull their blick. Oh, yeah, we are. Hey, turn that mic on. Turn that mic on. These people right here want to rap. They rappers. What's your name, man? I'm Blick. That's my name. Now move out the way. DJ, turn that mic up. That's how it is in St. Louis clubs. Kansas City and St. Louis are dangerous places. Please be careful. You go outside, they blick it. Kansas City and St. Louis, they had 30s in the 90s. This was before people in Chicago was talking about 30s. You just see them hanging out people's pockets. 
that's where you see him. You didn't see him in rap videos. When it comes to blicking, Missouri is ahead of time. Drill music is real big right now. But in Kansas City, they had funk music in the 90s. And that's like drill with a different name. Funk music. Fat Tone. He was one of the creators. All right. In Kansas City, in St. Louis, all of the schools are like Lean On Me. No matter what school you're going to, it's going to be like Lean On Me. I'm not even sure if they have computers and stuff yet. The schools in Kansas City, they're abandoned. They blicking in school, outside of school. People walking around in school with blicks. They in school, on social media, flashing blicks. You come out of school, they blicking. All right, I'm out of here.